What's going on, everyone? So, specifically, Mr. Wayne, you've been saying you want more gun stuff. I'm going to do the Canic. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I just haven't done it yet. But, out here today, shooting the 22, and I was like, oh, let me just do this one. Um, but this is my Ruger 10-22 that I built for my son to uh, get into shooting. And he loves this thing. I love it. It's pretty dang on accurate. Um, only things I've done to it is I did put the Magpul stock on it. Uh, it just looks a little nicer to me. Uh, and then I did put in the Ruger uh, trigger. Or the BX trigger. Sorry. Not the stock. They have their stock trigger and the Ruger. I think I'm pretty sure it's called the BX trigger. Because everything else is BX. I don't know. I can't remember. That was like four years ago. But anyways, um, it is a lighter trigger. Um, sorry about magazines real quick. So these are the Ruger mags. These things work flawlessly. Uh, they have steel uh, lips on them. This one is just their 225ers connected. Same thing. Steel lips. And then you get to aftermarket stuff. This is uh, Butler Creek. And you notice this one right here, it does not have steel lips. And you can see it's actually, it's actually chipped up in some spots. Um, and that's just from the pressure of the round. That's not from me banging on anything or anything like that. Um, this one jams a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. But what's cool to Butler Creek's you could just buy a bunch of singles and hook them together instead of having to buy the double. So really, if I had a third one, no, I couldn't because there's the holes around the inside. Never mind, couldn't do that. But, thing bugs. But if you look at this one that is also Butler Creek, this one does have steel lips. So if you're gonna go anything aftermarket, make sure it does have steel lips. It would feed so much smoother. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, I've had this one in quite a few videos. Actually, the last one, the last video I posted was, um, of me doing the rapid fire versus bump fire on this one. Uh, I did used to have a bipod mounted up there. Don't really need it. I don't hunt with it. I don't, I mean, this is a plinking gun just playing in the backyard shooting really fast, dumping a lot of ammo, not having to worry about money because 22 ammo is still pretty cheap here. But, uh, but yeah, this is, oh, and I do have a Vortex Crossfire. Vortex goes on every single firearm I have. Love their warranty process and their customer service. If you don't know about those, look into them. Customer service should be a pretty important part, uh, and you considering what brand to buy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Mr. Wayne, I promise, 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 before the end of the month, I will have the Canic video up. So, anyways, here she is again. Oh, and everything is color filled. I, I do that to most of my inexpensive guns. Uh, but yeah, it's my Ruger 1022. Uh, check back, probably, honestly, probably like a week and a half, two weeks. I'll have that Canic video up. Later.